Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins. I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel. I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on your net with you guys. So if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Today we got secrets of the Euro. Curious to see what kind of mysteries we can unfold here with this video. So here we go. Let's find out together. Prior to 2002, most European countries had their own independent currencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. France had the French franc. Italy had the Italian lira. And Finland had the Finnish marker to name just a few. It made trade and travel a lot more complicated, as you needed to change your money for each different country, often incurring exchange rates, commissions and fees. What's more, there was often vast disparity between the values of each currency. Oh yeah. What? I actually lived in Germany when I was a little kid for three years, and it was at this time when the euro was being rolled out. It was like 1999 to like 2001 or something like that. And yeah, I still remember having to use like the individual countries' currencies, but then also towards the end of when I was living here, the euro was starting to be rolled out and we started to use euros. And we were like, whoa, this is so cool. Whilst the Italian lira bank note stretched all the way up to 500,000. The highest denomination French franc was only 500. So Whoa. if you were visiting one from the other, it would be very difficult to gauge how much you were actually spending. Yeah. In practice, it was a nightmare. The case for a shared common currency was therefore an obvious one, and it was an idea that had been talked about and was being worked towards for decades. Without getting into the precise history, the euro as we know it was first introduced for non-cash transactions on New Year's Day 1999 and then the first banknotes and coins on New Year's Day 2002. The only countries that did not adopt the currency were Denmark and the United Kingdom, although there are several other EU countries who don't yet meet the economic criteria, but will make the change once they do. Interesting. I didn't know that every country in the European Union didn't use the euro, so hmm, already learning something. And since those first banknotes were launched in 2002, they've just finished releasing a new and updated series, which this video is going to take a look at. 200 euros! Whoa! Man, if I could be so lucky. Now, I'm not going to get into any of the pros and cons of the currency, or any of the economic arguments or considerations. Okay. Instead, I'm going to approach the euro purely as a banknote collector, as someone who likes shiny and colourful objects with a cool story, not as a critic of the currency itself. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Now normally I'd go through and talk about each banknote individually, but with the euro it makes secrets. much more sense to talk about them collectively. These new notes are known as the Europa series, and they are very much a series, with each denomination just a slight variant on the overall design. Like the previous series, the notes have retained their size, colour, and the theme of European architecture. The front of each denomination displays a window or doorway to represent openness and cooperation, whilst the reverse depicts a bridge, symbolising communication. The 5 euro sees a classical architecture style, the 10 Romanesque, the 20 Gothic, the 50 Renaissance, the 100 Baroque, and the 200 a 19th century iron and glass theme. Nice little history lesson with the currency, that's pretty cool. The old 500 note had the theme of modern 20th century architecture, although has been discontinued and is slowly being removed from circulation. Importantly though, none of the specific doorways, windows or bridges shown are real. They're fictional designs. In I was just about to ask that, are, are any of these things real places? But they're not, which should help keep everyone happy, I guess. Tended to represent each of the original members, but without unfairly representing one more than the other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also like the previous series, the reverse of each note features a map of Europe, although this time including Malta and Cyprus, who have both since joined the Eurozone, as well Whoa. as a tiny section right in the bottom left to show the Canary Islands and some of France's territories. Hmm. But that's about it for the similarities. So what exactly has changed? While the denomination in the bottom left has been replaced by one in green colour changing ink, making it difficult to replicate. And on the 100 and 200 notes, it's even con- Whoa, they have little euro signs inside of the numbers? Yo, that's so cool, that's so baller, I'll never be able to see it because I'm poor. <laughs> contains tiny euro symbols. There's also a larger holographic strip on the right, this time containing an image of Europa, a figure from Greek mythology after whom the continent was named. Whoa! 
Whoa, dude, <laughs> who's that person? Europa, I need to learn more about Europa. <laughs> that person looks cool. Europa can also be seen in the watermark of each note, alongside the denomination and piece. Whoa, that's the kind of secrets I'm looking for. That's so cool. Piece of architecture, although admittedly it does kind of resemble a kid's drawing. In terms of other security- Yeah, but dude, it's inside of the freaking currency. That's crazy. ...features. Both series are fairly similar. Obviously, they all feature the Orion constellation, a group of five oh. circles or donuts which can be detected by printers and computer software in order to prevent photocopying. This feature was included on banknotes in secret for many years, until a member of the public first detected it on a 10 euro note. Hence the name and the fact that it sort of doesn't really resemble Orion. Under UV light, hmm. certain elements of the notes glow to indicate their authenticity, Whoa. including the stars in the flag and the Whoa. stars around the architecture, as well as certain sections of the reverse. Tiny glowing Whoa. flecks are also visible, something they purposely add into the paper. Oh, there's a little glowing flakes. I was wondering what those are. Whoa, that's so cool looking. Dude, imagine whipping out a hundred euro bill at a rave. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so cool. Again, to show their authenticity. But the new notes have added another really cool security feature in the form of these short diagonal lines on the edges of each note. If you fold Whoa. the notes round to form a circle, they perfectly line up, indicating that the note is likely genuine, as counterfeiters can have difficulty being so precise with their printing. Wow, they packed a lot of anti-counterfeit measures into this design here. That's really crazy. And these notes have introduced a microprint too, seen in the stars in the middle of the note. What? Microprint? Oh my gosh, look how small that is. That is insanely detailed. If you look extremely oh, closely, oh you'll see the word God. Euro oh repeating in three different alphabets. Again, something that counterfeiters cannot achieve with inexpensive... What? Three different alphabets? Look how tiny it is! ...printers. And what is probably my favourite hidden feature? Each note is secretly a flag of Europe in disguise. What? How cool is that? What? However, having said all that... How is this a flag of Europe? ...favourite hidden feature? Oh, I see it with the stars. That's very cool. I see it now. Whoa, very cool. Wow, there's so much packed into these things. ...of Europe in disguise. How cool is that? However, having said cool. all that, you'd be right to accuse these notes of being boring. They're mm. deliberately plain and devoid of any personality. Europe is an exceptionally diverse continent with the finest architecture mm. on the planet, and yet they've opted for fictional designs. But I do understand it. These banknotes are used by an ever-increasing number of countries, and they can't be seen to favor certain ones. Yeah, you gotta, you have to make them for everybody, you know? It's inclusive and all that. I love how the different notes go through different time periods of architecture. That's so cool. And where the banknotes fall short, the coins certainly deliver. The Euro coins are arguably the coolest and most collectible in the world. Each country really? has their own designs, and they can therefore be much more personal. The Colosseum oh. features on the Italian 5 cents, for example, and the Brandenburg Gate on the German 10. Wow, I did not know that at all. That's really cool. So yeah, those are really collectible then. And even some countries that aren't EU members have their own coins. What? Huh? Such as San Marino and Vatican City. In total, there okay. are more than 300 different designs across the different values and countries, making them an absolute dream for collectors. Wow. They most certainly make up for the lack of variation on the banknotes. But if that's still not enough, there are some Euro banknotes that are decidedly more interesting. Whoa. That is the coolest piece of money I've ever seen in my life. I want that. <laughs> A zero euro bill. Oh my goodness. Look how cool it is. Ding. This is a zero euro, a souvenir note printed on real banknote paper, with real security features and authorised by the European Central Bank. What? It has a watermark, glows under UV light, and feels and looks exactly as you'd expect a real euro to. That's and so whilst cool. this one features the Atomium in Brussels, like the coins, there are literally hundreds of different designs. So whilst the euros themselves might be slightly dull, that's necessary. They're the second most traded currency in the world and represent such a vast population area. 
and though they might have sacrificed some infinitely more interesting notes in the process, we got some pretty cool coins out of it, and the Euro has undoubtedly made life a lot easier. Well, well, that was really awesome. Dude, the amount of security features in these notes is crazy. The amount of design features that they packed into these little tiny notes is insane. That was actually fascinating. I don't really know anything about American currency, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it probably doesn't have quite so many features as that. <laughs> but that was really cool to learn about. At any rate though, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Check out the links to my other socials down in the description, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.